Hi. Um, so to continue my trip through my Tavor um, shipment, I have a Fremont Bonfire Ale from Fremont Brewing, which is in Seattle, Washington. Um, and this has 6% um, alcohol by volume and 40 IBUs. And I did a quick bit of research um, to determine what category this might have um, fit into the best. And um, some places have it uh, as an American brown. Some places have it um, listed as a winter warmer. Um, the winter the winter beer category really implies that they have um, added some other um, ingredients like spices or um, molasses or something like that um, to give a particular um, flavor to the beer, a, a spiced flavor to the beer, and it's in the, sp in, in the spice beer category. So I don't think that that's the appropriate category for this um, particular style. So I think probably a brown ale um, is the better way to go. Um, but And I didn't even look at the um, IBUs and the alcohol by volume for those particular styles. So hopefully I'll have that figured out before I upload this. Um, but I also noticed that there is a new BJCP guideline for 2015, and it um, recategorizes some things and expands a lot of categories, um, which is pretty exciting. So, um, aroma. Mm. This is wonderfully malty, kind of chocolatey. Hey, do you want this? Guess not. Okay. Um, almost grape juicy, so it has some fruitiness to it. Mm. A little um, hoppiness. But bright hops. So appearance-wise, um, it's definitely a brown ale. Um, and um, pretty dark. It looks like it's pretty well carbonated, poured with a good head. Oh, wow. This is good. Mmm. Yeah, I feel like if this is probably best categorized as the brown ale. Um, this has um, great uh, malt complexity going on. It says um, it has um, pale, uh, white wheat, midnight wheat, rye, smoked and chocolate malts, Cascade, and uh, U.S. Golden Hops. Um, And it says that it's gently hopped, but it says gift of dark bar barley, although um, it would suggest that there's no barley in here. But the rye, that explains this kind of um, bright. Mm. It has this brightness, but then this deep complexity, I think, by the rest of the malts and a nice um, mild hop finish. Very drinkable. Very, very good. So I'm excited about this out of Seattle, Washington, something that wouldn't have um, crossed, I wouldn't have crossed paths with uh, otherwise. Um, very drinkable, very well done, nicely balanced, um, terribly enjoyable. Um, so I like it a lot. Um, so thank you to Fremont um, Brewing and then also to Tavor for uh, making this available. Um, so there you go. If this is something that you've tried, share with me where you were able to find it and then what your thoughts were about it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.